WARNING! The following video is over exaggerated. Some opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. It's a relatively new game, so it does need some work done. You good? Alright. Also, quick shout out to the Bandy Brothers since it was their original idea. Now let's get right into this. I love the fact how Rainbow Friends is so popular, yet it's super similar to Piggy in a way as well. Like come on, be original man. Don't you love how once you join, you have to queue inside the school bus only to have some people leave the circle last second and even more lag out before the game even starts. Is there seriously no way to skip this intro? Fragment Games really need to find a way to add that feature in, man. I'm not about to watch these cutscenes for the millionth time. Everybody loves players who always hide in boxes. Maybe they just like slowing everyone down. I mean, the monsters are not even that scary, right? Or how about those players who love to hoard items and never return them to the theater? Good thing they get respawned again for more useful players to return them. But nothing gets more aggravating than AFK players who do absolutely nothing in order to get a free win from everyone else. They shouldn't even be credited the win, honestly. What's the point of adding in this ramp towards the castle? It literally leads to a dead end and I don't see any reasons why people would even use this path. I mean the sign literally does it justice, it does slow you down. Why do we have to be the ones in charge of feeding Orange? Is he just too incompetent in order to pour some food himself? Makes absolutely no sense to me. And is Blue really that dumb to not notice someone is underneath a moving cardboard box? You can literally see people's legs underneath the cardboard, man. I think Blue needs some glasses or something. Also, why does Rainbow Friends offer so many different types of box skins if they don't do anything to change the gameplay? Oh yeah, I got a stack of tires. I'm cool. But, right, it does literally the same exact thing as a regular box. What a waste of Robux. And the fact that Green is blind is just weird. Why doesn't he just get a pair of glasses and fix his blindness? Honestly, both Green and Blue need them the most as they can't seem to get anything right. This spot right here. 9 times out of 10, you'll see someone hiding in here it's absolutely annoying as heck. Like get the heck out of there and help the team! Don't you just hate Purple's hitbox as well? Like come on man! I didn't even touch the water, that's so freaking cat. Also pay to win much rainbow friends? You can literally respawn by using gems while people who can't afford it have to restart all over again? That's not cool bro. The fact that you don't even need to grab a flashlight during the battery round. Yeah, no thanks. I don't need artificial light to win this easy game. Oh, and don't you love those players who always pop the balloons at the goodbye party round? Yeah, those just aggravate me the most too. Why make the game harder when it could be easy as heck? Also, when people stand in the way while you're trying to push the blocks. Ah yes, doesn't that just earn a like and subscribe, right? That means even more work for you. And why do you even need to go through the fence if you can just chill at the opening? I mean, Blue gets stuck anyway and can't hurt you. Why do the extra work? And the thing that really annoys us the most is what is beyond Rainbow Friends Chapter 1? Like, is there even a Chapter 2 coming for the game? And if so, when? But I guess we'd have to wait until next time.